Bonjour! Today, let's have a look at the difference between since and for in French and how to translate since and for in French. Okay, the objective of this lesson is quite simple. I would like to show you how you translate since or for in French and what you need to look out for, especially when you learn, you know, you speak English and you want to do it in French. So, the object is quite simple to learn the difference between the preposition since and for. How do we say since and for? Well, we can either say depuis or pendant. Now, let me show you how we use depuis to start with. Depuis is a preposition which indicates the duration of an action which started in the past and is still happening. So, it can mean for or since. And I think this is where the confusion is when you speak English and you want to translate a sentence such as, I have been playing tennis since 2016 or I have been playing tennis for three years. So, let's have a look in a minute at how we do that. Unlike the English this time, expression is used with a present tense in French to indicate the action is still going on. So, as I said, I have been playing tennis since 2016. What tense is that in English? Hmm. It started in the past and because we have playing, ing, it's a continuous. So, it started in the past and it's still happening now. So, you've been playing since 2016. In French, you must use the present tense to express this idea. So, you would say, je joue, quite simply, I play au tennis and then you use the preposition depuis, since, okay? Je joue au tennis depuis 2016. Okay? Is that simple? But mind you, it becomes so much simpler. I have been playing. Don't try to translate that. Just translate I play and then add depuis to it. Okay? However, what happens if we wanted to translate, like I said earlier on, I have been playing tennis for three years. Now, suddenly, we no longer use since. In English, we use for. Well, in French, and because it's an action that started in the past and it's still somehow carrying on, you still use depuis. So, it becomes je joue au tennis depuis trois ans. Can you see that? And this is where the difficulty here, and this is where you need to get your head around that. Okay, so to recap, depuis means since and for. If you wanted to say, I have been working for four hours, what do you use here? Depuis or pendant? You use depuis because it's an action that is happening from the, uh, the past and is still somehow count, uh, carrying on, okay? So, it's been happening for the last four hours, okay? The translation for this sentence will be, je travaille depuis quatre heures. Now, let's have a look at pendant. Pendant is also a preposition which means for or during, depending on the context. However, it refers to the entire duration of an action. The action in question is happening within a specific time period and has a clear end. I played tennis for two years. You see the difference between the first examples? Not I have been playing tennis because that started in the past and it's still happening. I played. It's gone done, over with. And in that case, you use pendant for the translation of this sentence. J'ai joué au tennis pendant deux ans. So, you translate I played the same way, j'ai joué. But then you use pendant. So, the difference here is that we are not using depuis as the past continuous tense is not used, but the past tense is, okay? Now, bear in mind that you can also use durant instead of pendant. Let's have a look at a few examples and try to figure out which one to use in French. Have a look at that. Paul has been working here since 2009. Okay, now think, since is what? Depuis or pendant? When is the action taking place? Is it gone, done, finished, over with? Or has it started in the past and is still happening? If that is the case, you need to use depuis. Indeed, it's still happening, isn't it? 
because it started, he, Paul started working there since 2009. Okay, so it's definitely depuis. Paul travaille ici depuis 2009. Helen has been living in Paris since 2005. Now, again, because we have since, it's going to be depuis. And it's an action that took place in the past and is carrying on still. She's still living in Paris. Helen habite à Paris depuis 2005. We played for three hours. Now, the Word played tells me that it's an action that started in the past but is gone, done, over with. So, nous avons joué pendant, and in that case we need to use pendant, trois heures. See the difference here? It is not since, because since marks a beginning of an action and somehow carries on in time, okay, and is still going on. I have been studying French for three years. Now look at the tense and look at the sentence and look at the timeline. It's starting in the past, well done, and it's still carry on. That means I'm still continuing to learn French. J'étudie le français depuis quatre ans. So this is the difference between since and for in French or depuis et Pendant. What I would like you to do is have a look at these examples again and try to make your own sentence, okay? So if you make a sentence, why don't you try to make a sentence by answering this question? Depuis combien de temps apprends-tu le français? Now, depuis combien de temps? For how long? How long have you been learning French? And you could answer, j'apprends le français Avec Alexa depuis un mois. I have been learning French with Alexa for one month. Okay, that's it for me. Have a look at the support guide available to this lesson. And I shall see you soon. Leave a comment and uh, subscribe. Bisous, bisous.